Selfish ghost. Hey guys, it's Drew. I know I haven't posted a little while, but uh, I'm hoping to start getting back into that. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you and uh, kind of like the old directory mode glitch. Except on this one, you can get the police belt and other such via outfits. Sorry, other outfits. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press start and go over to creator. And whenever you load in, you're going to go down to create a race. Then, you're going to go to land race. Once you get done loading in with that, what you're going to do is you're going to go and create your title and everything. It doesn't have to be very hard. You can basically just fly through these steps pretty easily. I'm going to skip through this because it's not that hard to do. Now, when you get to the end, you'll get a sign like this that says you've completed the test race, return to creator. Just click OK and then go and save it. Once you save it, you can exit. Now, you'll go back up and you'll see you're back in the creator screen. You're just going to exit to GTA Online. Now, when you spawn in, it doesn't matter where you spawn in at, but when you spawn in, you're going to go to online, swap characters, and you're going to swap to your secondary character. Now, for your secondary character, you cannot have any progress on it at all. See, I already had progress on my character. If you have progress on it, you're going to have to delete it. Make sure you're not deleting your primary one. And, uh... This will take about uh, 5 or 10 seconds to go and load up, but then you will go and pick on your secondary character, and if you can, I would advise you making them a level 120, if you can. Now, what you're going to want to do is once you get your character, you're going to want to change it to a female, and you don't have to change anything else. Um, I was just bored and decided to choose something, but once you get done, and you have it set to a female, just load into GTA Online. Now, when you spawn in, you're going to make your way to the closest clothing store, and you're going to go into the pants section. You're going to go down to the leggings, and you're going to get the camo, the orange camo leggings. Now, the next thing you're going to want to get is going to be in this in the shirt section now you're gonna go into gun running shirts and the first thing you're gonna put on is the blue digital gun running shirt and uh, and then what you're gonna put on over that is called is in the work jackets it is called the black closed field jacket basically I had a trouble finding this jacket until I finally came across it. But you're going to put that on. And then you're going to go into gun running t-shirts. And you're going to go and put on. That's the very bottom. Blue digital camo shirt. T-shirt sorry. Now you're going to make your way. To the, to the skate shoes. And put on the all black back shades. Now what you want to do is make your way to the front counter where you can save this outfit. This will be the police outfit. Now I will be posting in a little bit a couple of other outfits if you want to copy those as well. But as of now this is the only one that will be carried over. 
When you are done customizing all your outfits, you will go and load back up into the creator. Once you spawn in the creator, you will go down to uh, saved races and you'll click on your race that you just made before and you'll go down and hit test. Once you do this, you'll just make your way through your race again. Once you get this screen, you will just want to continue by clicking X and then you're going to press start from the menu and go to online and you're going to want to swap characters. Now once you swap characters, this is what you're going to do again. You are going to go over to your secondary character and click delete. Now whenever you delete this character, you will have to physically spell out delete for it to be deleted. Now, once you do this, you will see you no longer have a second character other than an original. You will just hit circle to return to GTA 5. Now, this will put you in story mode. And whenever you spawn in on story mode, it doesn't matter whatever you're doing. You might be giving Tracy a ride or something like that, you bitch. You're going to go to online and you're going to go and just start up any session. Now this may take a few minutes of loading in but once you spawn in whatever outfit you had on last will be saved or not saved but will be carried onto your character so if you want to save that outfit now would be a good time to go and uh, save it in the clothing store. But spawning in on this one takes at least a couple of minutes so uh get cozy man I could have done and taken a piss um okay so you see I spawned inside my tower and I left the paramedic outfit on because that you can't get it anymore in patch 1.44 so, I just went to go and save the outfit all over again. Now, as you can see, if you go into your outfit, some of the ones that I tried to create were not allowing me to actually use them. But as you can see, right there is the police outfit, the trash man random outfits that I've made. Whichever outfit you want, I'll have it posted in the next video. If I can get it. But... This glitch still works to present day, uh, patch 1.44, and you can do anything you want with these outfits. You just gotta test out your own theory with them and see what, what you like and what works. Now, if an outfit that you've created does not actually work, like you cannot select it, what you will do is go and start up Crooked Cop so you can select the outfit and uh, that's all I have for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this I don't get to go around and do this very often I'm always working or at school so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, please smash that like button to help me out a lot thank you yeah,